Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we do have the Glam Bag X. This guy finally decided to show up. So this would be for the month of August and I think this guy is $55 if I'm not mistaken. $55 and every three months. Every three months. And I just finished filming for my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus versus BoxyCharm. Just finished doing that one. Still have some of those swatches. Yeah, but now we're gonna jump into this guy. I think for now I just will do the intro because hubby went for a walk and I think he's due back pretty soon. Pretty soon, so I guess maybe tomorrow. I do have to work and the next day and the next day. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this guy. We have a lot of goodies in here, a lot of goodies in here, so I'm excited. So if you guys want to see what's inside this box, the items that I chose, what Ipsy chose for me, then go ahead and keep watching. So I don't see hubby coming yet, so I'm going to go ahead and just continue as much as I can. Because tomorrow I'm not going to have a lot of time since it is an early one. So, we have our X here. Yeah, we have a lot of space. So we do have our little newspaper. So this would be for August 2021. So this one is in collab with Halsey. Curated by Halsey. Yeah. Which we have received some of her products before. I do really love, it's an eye paint, but I use it as a lipstick. And I love it. I love it. I don't know, I just thought it was a perfect brown lip shade. And it's a pretty comfortable matte. It's a pretty comfortable matte, so I'm excited. Alright, so I'm going to start with what Ipsy chose for me. Which would be five of the eight items. So this is the Herbivore Emerald Hemp Seed Adaptogens Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Which I actually completely forgot this was part of my bag. Completely forgot. But it's pretty. Really pretty. Never tried anything from this brand, so... We'll see. And then this guy, let's see if it has it here, retails for, let's see, $48. Yeah, Emerald Deep Moisture Glow Oil. Because there was another one you could have gotten, the Herbivore Botanicals Lapis Blue Tansy Face Oil. That one retails for $72. And it's also so pretty. Yeah, Lapis, like Lapis Lazuli. I do. I love that stone. Lapis lazuli. So, excited to try that guy out. Let's see. I think this one everyone is getting, which I did use today. I used mine because I did get this one in. Is it BoxyCharm? Yeah, I think I got it in BoxyCharm. This would be the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. So I did use mine today. Use a combination of three mascaras. I started out with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Then went in with the Fenty Beauty. So you have this guy. It'll focus. Yeah, it's kind of a strange wand. But I like it for lifting. Do like it for lifting. Went in with that one. And then lastly, the ABH one for volume. Yeah. So I do use it. So we'll see. I do like it. I don't love it, but I like it. So I think this one everyone was getting. Everyone was getting that one. So we have that. I did do some add-ons. Did do some add-ons. I see them here. 
I did another one of this one, which I also did in the plus. The Papa Recipe Bombay Honey SPF 50. Definitely need these right now. And then another one of the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. Yes, I like that. Alright, then the... Oh, this one Ipsy chose for me. Yeah. Did I do... What else did I show? The frontal. Did I do the retail value. Which everyone was getting. And that one retails for $24. And then the next item from About Face. So this would be the Light Lock Highlight Fluid. And I have the shade... Um, fight or Flight. So this is one you would open up. I guess there on the side. You pull. And then this guy retails for $32. But you also could have gotten the Light Lock Powder. It says in Smother or... S also, Stars on Fire and The Bliss, which retails for $30. I've already reviewed this and I put... No. I would have preferred a powder highlight. Yeah, so you had the liquid, but I would have preferred... Powder. Yeah. When it comes to highlight, I don't like the liquid ones. I don't like those. No. So that one's a dud for me. Then we have one, two, three, and this one is four, which is the Aether Beauty Moonlight Crystal Palette. Because I know it's five products. Which one was the other one that Ipsy chose for me? Was it this one? I think so. Yeah. And this one, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. Non-drying clay for all. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. Since the other one is swatches, I'll leave that one last. And then this guy retails for $40. I'm definitely excited for this. Definitely excited for this. Looks like yogurt. <laughs> Looks like yogurt. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for this. I want to try that out. So with this one, they did good. They did good. And then the palette would retail for $58. So, so far now, the only thing from Aether Beauty that I've tried would be the highlight, which I didn't like as highlight, but as an eyeshadow, I love. So, I know this one, vegan, cruelty-free, clean ingredients, sustainable packaging. So, I know they don't do the mirror. And I noticed this one is with the new name. It's with the new name. So, I think the other one... Since I got on sale because they were changing their name. Yeah. You spell it like that. A E. A Thur. A E T H E R. You know, it's just A T H R. And I think they've also removed that aspect of it. Yeah. Still raised, just like the other one. And we have a little card. Tenacious is the lioness in the face of oppression. Unfaltering in conviction and clout. Is it like a tarot card? Yeah. So yeah, they removed that aspect of it. And then this one, it's like a boxed, boxed in packaging. And then for this one, they have the shade names on the, on this. And I think Hubby's home. So, to be continued. 
and we're back the next morning back the next morning and i have to leave in about four minutes let's see how we do this so we were at the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadow palette was looking at the app and i actually did one more add-on this one was a 12 dollar add-on which was the complex culture four piece brush sets yeah they were just so many goodies so we do have four brushes four brushes which this one she's large it's a large one so I'm not sure if I would actually use this on the eyes which is the oh it says all over highlight powder all right, so it doesn't say eye brushes, so I just thought they were all over, yeah, all over shadow, precision eyelid, eye crease definer, and all over highlight powder. All right. Yeah, because I was going to say for the eyes. All right, so like a highlight brush. Yeah. So we got those for 12 yeah so I do really like complex culture do like that so had to add that and haven't seen my previous video the ipsy versus boxy charm I had received this this dose posh powder palette which I did try on yesterday a little bit on top I fell in love fell in love and I'm wearing it today. Also wearing the iconic bronzer I got in that one, which was in warm bronze. Yeah. So yesterday I did on one cheek this one and the other cheek this one. And for highlight, did all three. Did this one on this side and then the other one on the other side and then this one on the center of the face. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought, but this one I think is my favorite. Because, <laughs> yeah, it looks white in the pan, but it's not white. That's the highlight I have on my face, along with this blush. This one is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I really like this. Really, really like this. Yeah, because it's not a white highlight kind of has a shift so that's a good one all right so back to the aether beauty righty so we have our palette i did see some people they didn't get a palette didn't get a palette i'm happy i got this happy i got this because i do like this color story and I've also noticed, which I see it in mine as well, yeah, so many people unboxing, and you can see on this shade, pretty much everyone on this shade has, kind of looks like it's swatched, like a finger on it, but I also see it on this one. Yeah, you just see like a finger. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so I got that because I don't think... Yeah, I have to leave now so I don't have time for swatching. So we have all of those and now time for the items that I chose. So the first item, Charlotte Tilbury. So this is Pillow Talk Lip Cheat, the reshape and resize lip liner in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. So not my first Charlotte Tilbury because I do love, love this guy. 
the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Yeah, I have that. I also have a got from a Sephora order a little mini size of the Pillow Talk lipstick. Not crazy about it like everyone else is. But this one is medium too. Pillow Talk 2 medium. So maybe this kind of shade is more for me. Yeah, probably that one works better for me than the regular Pillow Talk. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I've heard so many good things. So now I have that, which that guy retails for. Let's see where it is. Go number 11, retails for $22. Yeah, for $22. Got a lot of items here. A lot of other items here on this page. Yeah. Which I would have liked the kimchi chic blush, but I think the only option I've seen everyone get is the pink one. I hate sneezing. So. The next item that I chose, again, this time I have perfume options because I changed my profile. So this is from, oh it's Prose, Prose Hair Perfume. I don't know if the scent is Corsica. Yeah, a little hair perfume, which I haven't put perfume on today. Yeah, so this would be a spray, so... Hmm. Corsica Hair Perfume. So, let's see. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if it's my kind of scent. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. I just saw a hair perfume and I was like, huh, ah, let me get that. Then that one retails for $25. No drying alcohol here. And then the last item that I chose would be the Wander Beauty Skyliner Automatic Gel Eyeliner. I picked this one because it's in the shade Napa Nights. Not a black. So I think... Is that like a burgundy? I have to head out. Work, work, work. And I can't open this. I've pretty much destroyed the box. be like a burgundy, I think. So, huh. It's like a cool toned. Yeah, kind of like a cool toned purple. I like that. I like it when they offer different shades. And then we have that one which retails for not here. Huh. It is not here. It's not here. Hmm. 
Nope. Not listed here. All right. Not listed there. I'm thinking maybe around the 20 something dollar price point. But I'm happy with this shade. Skyliner. Yeah. Happy with that. So I guess lastly would be, which is pretty hair perfume on this, swatching this guy and giving the total retail value. So I guess for now, again, to be continued. Be continued. All right. Let's see how today goes, because I am over an hour over. So let's see if I get overtime. So for now, to be continued. So I got out early today. I got out early today. So I just finished swatching, just finished tallying up before hubby gets home, which should be... Have some time. Have some time. So total retail value, I would get $270. Because the Wonder Beauty eyeliner was $21 value it's not here but I saw it on the app so 270 so I was just swatching this one some of them swatch amazing some of them take some building some of them feel dry yeah but I will say such a pretty color story Definitely a palette for me. Definitely. Yeah. So this guy actually swatched pretty good. That blue one. Ugh. Yeah. Which is this one right here. This one actually swatched pretty good as well. Some of the purples. Yeah, this one. The one, one of the ones that was swatched. Took some building. Yeah, this one as well took a lot of building. Yeah, some of these lighter shades took some building. This one was pretty good, first one. Yeah. Some took some building. But they're so pretty. Loving that one. Did have to build it a little bit but it's one of the last ones so i'm wondering if i just had too much on my finger but i can definitely work with it yeah it took some building that one took a lot of building which was this guy but i'm excited i'm excited to play with this definitely excited to play with this so pretty oh, so pretty yeah I like that it has depth so yeah I'm gonna have fun with this I'm gonna have fun with this so yeah I like this overall not too mad at it not too mad at it so it's a pretty good box it's a pretty good box I just really wish it would have been the powder highlight instead of the liquid highlights then would have been amazing yeah alrighty so that would be it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this yeah so as of now I don't know if it's gonna arrive today so I'm waiting for an Ulta order I'm waiting for ColourPop order. Just placed a Nika K order yesterday. Yeah, a lot of things were on sale, so I took advantage. Still waiting for my boxy pop up order to even ship. There's a lot on the way, a lot on the way, and still waiting for the last small Ipsy to do that video. But yeah. That would be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Time for some wine.